Previously on Zerker to Grandmaster. Our luck at the Abyssal Sire turned around and we managed to finish the bludgeon at around 650 KC. We then got 87 Slayer, which means we can now go get the Trident of the Seas from Kraken. We've been pickpocketing some Master Farmers, and that is 70 Thieving and 1800 total level. I think that's all the requirements for Desert Treasure 2 done. Just doing the usual bit of skilling in between editing, and that is 93 farming. I don't think I've ever had a farming level that high on an Iron Man, so that's very nice. I was just doing a herb run, and it was annoying me that I had to run all the way to the Troll Stronghold um, herb patch. And I realised I can actually do the Fremnit card diaries now if I get a plus 5 thieving boost, so I'm gonna do that quickly. Oh, got the boost. Right. I want to quickly thieve this one, and then if I teleport quickly to um, Gnome Stronghold, I can get the Western Province diary. Where have I got to stand for this? I gotta go around the front. There we go, and that's that one done. Let's quickly go to Gnome Stronghold. Where's the gnome? There we go. Lovely. Two birds with one stone. And when we loot this, that should be the hard diary complete. Lovely. Let's get a reward quickly. There we go. The other rewards don't really matter to me. I was just doing it so I could get the um, instant teleport to the top next to the herb patch. I'm just doing the last bit of Mahogany Homes that I'm going to do for a long time. Just need one more level and we can make the best jewellery box in the house. And just getting the last two collection log slots from Mahogany Homes for a while as well. Get the soul and a loot crate just for the slot. And that is 83 construction, our last construction level for a long time. There's the plus five, let's get all our stuff out the bank. And there is the max jewellery box. And that's the last thing we're going to do on our house for a long time because I don't really want to waste GP on the portal nexus at the moment. As you can see by where I'm stood, we are actually going to try our first TOA on the account. Um, I'm not going to go too into depth about the things that I want from here because we're basically only going to send some entry modes just to see where we are sort of DPS wise. Um, so the gear we're wearing we've basically got our full melee gear with God Dehyde Chaps. We've got our Dagon High and Ancient Staff Tome of Water. So our mage swaps and then a couple of range swaps as well as Obviously we've got a load of brews, I've got a sand food to cure the poison, restores, and our super attack strength and a range in pot. Um, I don't think we'll need anywhere near this amount of brews, it's just it's our first time going in on our accounts, so just going to see where we're at and how close we are to being able to send 150s. But before I forget, we've got this lovely duplicate dragon pickaxe that we got spooned at KBD. And that means that we can chuck this in here and it will sit in there for the remainder of his days. We're going to send some entry mode, see what it's like, and hopefully one of us can pull the thread. Because that will give us the four slot ring pouch, which would be really nice to have. We're going to send some duos with my friend Swar, who's at a similar sort of stage on his Iron Man. So he wants to see how it goes. <laughs> oh, I don't like the beauty, are not it? Like oh, we're ready, Swar. Oh, 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 look at that! Oh, look at that! 100! Yeah, I'm back to back! <laughs> Go on, Swar! Cam's hitting more up, Swar's hitting more DPS, and Cam went on 200 kill spree to get the both up. Oh, I'm busted on the iron, this is mint! Uh, oh! <laughs> hey, what the f <laughs> If you got this sort of luck against Galvec, you better have a right laugh. <laughs> Oh, 91. Oh, it, Cap. Oh, 72. Oh, what's going on? 53. <laughs> Swar, this is 10 times better than when we Mate, went this with... this is so Ooh, much bolt. better. I didn't use any supplies. No. I reckon we could do a 300. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's going to be that one. It's going to be that one. Yeah. Big tree. He just picked to end as well. He must have <laughs> <laughs> That's outrageous! <laughs> Why am I specking a pillar? 
lovely jubbly. Oh, here we go. Here we go, lads. Ah, oh, so this is alright, this is, yeah? Nice and easy. Gaming today. He's fucking gaming! He's doing it! Oh my, my god! My chair is so sweaty! <laughs> <laughs> Yellow. White. White. Red. Red. White. White. Oh, no, I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm Stay dead. Red, white, is it white, 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 Oh, I again. knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Get sipping that Sanfu. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's gonna be gone here. Beauty. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, Swar. Swar, this is it, mate. This is it. Come on. We're getting on the last one. Yeah! Oh, that was literally oh, perfect. Oh. Right. My bruise! Let's deal with the <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to pick your brew up. I will. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Any come on, boys. boys. Come on, the boys. Two combat achievements. <laughs> what come on, come on, come on. Please, please. Purple, purple, okay. Oh, count. count. Oh, that's <laughs> depressing. Tell you what, damage was close, wasn't it? Yeah, that's I need mental, both I called in the leech as well, I don't get that. Big tree. Oh, good luck, boys, good luck. Get the thread, thread, thread. The leech, leech. Oh, 92 range, beauty. <laughs> magic, 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 magic. Pet, pet, pet. Oh my god. Oh, oh my hey. god. What'd you get? Red baby. Red. Sake, I got coconut milk. No thread. <laughs> All sharks so. and rubies and a magic seed. I ran into that one. <gasps> oh, I clicked food. It's right, so I'm never in doubt. I mean, I'll take the dragon stones. Think. And that is our first normal KC complete. And I'm going to pretend that it was all me and ignore the guy in complete max gear now. Do we get anything? Uh, no purple. Do we get the thread? No, we don't. So while it is very nice being carried in max gear in a 150, I think I want to get a trident before I can do solo 150s. <laughs> we actually got a range level from how much tutorial skipping we've done. Oh, finally. I've literally been doing it for about five hours. Let's go get that trident. So I'm sure most of you know this, but just in case you don't, we're going to be killing the little cave krakens as opposed to the boss. Because I think the boss is a 1 in 400, I want to say, to drop the fully charged trident. But the little guys here drop the uncharged trident at a rate of 1 in 200, so it's a lot more common, and you can only kill them when you've got a task, so that's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, it's not a trident, but I will take it. I think that's a 1 in 1,200. So, that's actually quite nice to get. Oh, for God's sake. I don't want another one. I want the trident. An elite clue? I didn't know. That's going to be rare, isn't it? Let me look that up. Yep, that is also a 1 in 1,200 drop rate. What is going on? I've hit the 1 in 1,200 four times before the trident. 
All right, unless our bracelet procs, that's going to be the last kill of the task. And no trident. 250 killed, and we have <laughs> three Kraken tentacles, and not that one, it's the uncharged one. And no trident. Well, back to tutorial skipping. Well, we may as well put this on our whip. Um, I would like to have another whip for Slayer so that I don't waste charges, but I'm thinking that I can just use the bludgeon if I want to, because obviously that doesn't use any charges. I can use that for General Slayer. But this will be our tentacle whip, and it's going to be a very good servant to us because that's what we're going to use at the Theatre of Blood. There we go. Lovely. If Craig and Tess calling it. I hope so, because I really need a pee and I'm absolutely avoiding it. Do this. Click on, click on corner and run away to pick up pee. I'm actually going to do that. It's happening. That. Right. Fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> Yes! It's only 167 though. Collection log slot completed. Ed! Yeah, mate, mate even I, I looked know. at my screen. Even I, looked, I don't only... even know why I looked. I've changed the sound for it, so it's not even going to say even, that. Even, even I looked, and I'm just cooking tuna. Right, that is actually the last kill. <laughs> See you in 20 episodes when you get your thing. <laughs> Someone please look that. I think he actually broke. Oh, I'm light edit. Alright, I'm getting a task from Steve, and if he gives me black demons, I'll go into demonic. Oh my god, he actually gave me black demons! <laughs> Victory! Demonics! Demonic gorillas are unlocked after Monkey Badness 2 and they drop a Zenite Shard at a rate of 1 in 300, which is used to make the best in slot jewellery in the game. And the piece of jewellery that we want to make first is the Ring of Suffering that acts as a Ring of Recoil so we can use it as Zora. So this is going to be our setup for Demonic Gorillas. We've got full melee gear with our Sourdome in chaps. Got our Arc Light with plenty of charges. Um, then we've got our Range Swap just there. Take in super attack, strength, defense, range, potion. We're going to go with four prayer pots for now, and then the rest food, teleport, and elk runes. Yeah, let's see how it goes. So the way that demonic gorillas work is they swap at a certain amount of HP dealt their protection prayers, and obviously you then have to swap. And they also swap attack styles every three attacks that you protect against. And it can be completely random between range, mage, and melee. And there is a little handy trick to take the least amount of damage possible. So, so if I use this clip as an example, the demonic gorilla is attacking me with range and he's about to change attack styles. And as he changes attack styles, if you step away from him, what you can see is if the demonic gorilla follows you, you know that it's going to be a melee attack because he's trying to get into melee distance. Whereas if he was to stand still, because he's already done a range attack, you know that it's going to be a magic attack. And then that way, the only damage you'll end up taking at Demonic Gorillas is if he's attacking you with melee, because then it's a 50-50 chance of whether the next attack's going to be range or mage. Ah, there's our first collection log slot. Um... I can't use the Heavy Ballista because I skipped the XP from Monkey Madness, but I think I can still use the Light one. <laughs> and as I was just talking about not being able to use the Heavy Ballista, there is the Heavy Frame that's used for the Heavy Ballista. So, sadly a useless item, but another collection log slot. And that is 80 attack! Getting very close to 100 combat now. <laughs> there it is. Oh, we've been spooned as then. I think we're at sort of like 100-ish kill count. That's very nice. Right, time to do a little bit of crafting and let's make the Ring of Suffering. Absolutely lied to you. I'm not doing crafting right now. 
I realize that I'm really close to hit points level, and then after that we just need one prayer level to get 100 combat. So I thought I'd carry on with the task until we got 94 hit points, and there it is. Alright, we're going to go get a prayer level now. And that right there is 74 prayer and 100 combat. That's so nice. We can finally use Joradel as our Slayer Master. And as a good RuneScape player, I ended up getting sidetracked and thought, now that we can use Joradel, I'll get the Karumja Hard Diary done so that we've got the lovely Karumja gloves free that teleport us to the gem mine. And there's 84 crafting, which... Oh, we can actually make black DI bodies now. Nice. But we can now plus 5 boost to make the Zenite ring. Just finished up buying a load of Chaos runes and then selling them at the shop and buying our first Onyx on the account. There we go, let's fuse these two together. And now we've got a hunt for a plus five crafting boost. There we go, we've got the boost. Cut the Onyx. Make a Z oh, what am I doing? Make the Zenite ring. Now let's go enchant that. There we go, a ring of suffering. And we did a lot of PvP arena in the past because I was really enjoying it when I went for the last imbue, so I just stayed until I had enough points for another imbue. So I have to use that scroll on there. And all the recoil charges. Now we just need to get a Trident of the Seas to Camp Zora. There we go, another few hours of skipping, but hopefully we get... I honestly hate this game sometimes. Oh, thank you. Oh, I had five kills left and I honestly thought I was going to have to do more boosting. Oh, let's go charge this bad boy. Just finished buying a load of runes and there we go. A fully charged trident. Right, let's get started with Zora. Welcome to Zolra. This is a boss that is vital for any Iron Man because it drops things like the Serpentine Visage, the Tangzanite Fang and the Magic Fang, which can be crafted into the Serpentine Helm, the Toxic Blowpipe and upgrade your Trident to the Trident of the Swamp. However, because we are 45 defense, we cannot use the Serpentine Visage because you need 75 defense to wear the helmet. But, we can break it down for 20,000 Zora scales, so it's not a wasted drop. The last unique drop we can get at Zora is an uncut onyx, which will be useful for making Xenite jewellery in the future. It's a 1 in 128 drop rate to get any of these unique items, or 1 in 512 for a specific item. And the items that we are going to be hunting are the Tangzanite Fang and the Magic Fang, and any onyxes that we get along the way will be a bonus. Zora has four set attack rotations that she uses, and you can either spend the time to learn the rotations, or use the Zora Helper plugin on Runelight that tells you where to stand and where to pray. With that out of the way, let's get into it. Right, so, Zora. This is the gear that we're going to be using. We've got our full mage gear there. Let me just drop that so I can put on the range. Um, we're going with the Slayer helmet because it does actually give a little bit of a bonus to mage and range. And then we've got our dehyde swaps with the Bofa. And if you're wondering why it looks like that, I've just got a plug-in on that changes the look of the item I'm wearing because I really don't like the mismatching dehyde. And we've got the Ring of Suffering to deal with the Snakelings that spawn. And we've got the Cure Me spell to get rid of the Venom on the Lunar Spellbook. And the rest of my inventory is just food and potions. Congrats on the new personal best. Oh Last time God. I got a PB here, I died on my hardcore Iron Man. <laughs> That baited me big time. I did not realise it did that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try that Vengeance one quickly. So I'll cast it now ready. So that if it doesn't kill it... Go on, hit me hard. Lovely. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> I was literally just about to go stream. Look at this, this random person shouting at his rolls. <laughs> Why did it take so long for the loot to appear then? And then the C engineer said combat task and it really threw me off. <laughs> oh, that looks rare. And that is 93 magic. Oh, I could be in trouble there. I've got no food, so. Come on, don't hit with range. 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 Oh. oh, he lives, and it's for the blowpipe. I mean, I did just run out of teleports, so I'll take it. Snakelin's gonna kill me! I can! God! <laughs> that is 100 kill count. It's flying up. <laughs> and that right there is 125 kill count. Three more kills until the drop rate. Right, do we get anything? No, but I'm happy because that means I'm allowed to moan now. Why am I going so dry? I've just realised I'm being a really bad YouTuber and not recording any clips, but we're up to 182 KC. Still no items so far. Oh, I got a unique and it's an Onyx! Uh. I mean, I'll take it. That's one less Onyx I have to buy for, um... Me Zenites. <laughs> no, That's honestly. Honestly, I will uh, take yeah, it. No, 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 Cal, you, Cal, you, keep, you keep telling me you're positive. <laughs> you, you, uh. you keep asking me you're positive. <laughs> it's really an Onyx! Proud. Oh my god! Oh my god, I got a unique and, and it's an onyx and I uh that's just one <laughs> less thing that I have to buy on the <laughs> That is two hundred kill count. Decided to bring a chin chomper so I could get this combat task done. And there we go. Three snake lens at once. Oh let go. Nice. Big tree! Oh, that is beauty! And if we attach that to the trident, that is now the toxic trident. Which is going to be a nice DPS upgrade. There we go, a new PB. 250th KC. Another personal best. 275. Oh, I mean, it's not the blowpipe, but we'll take it. It's another Onyx that I don't have to buy. Hmm. Money snake. That is 300 kill count, but we're going to take a quick break because I'm really close to 85 crafting. And that is 85. Now we just need to get a plus 5 boost, get ourselves an amulet fury. Oh, and plus 5. Beauty. <laughs> an amulet of fury, what a treat. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Yes! Let's go! I'm done! <laughs> I'm spooked to... And use that on that. There it is. Toxic blowpipe. Oh, f I haven't even got the level to make Addy Darts. <laughs> I just went to do it and it popped up. There we go. Now we can actually make the darts. So, with that blowpipe drop, 
we have now got all the gear that we wanted to be able to start all of the raids. So Tombs of Amaska, Chambers of Zarek, and T.O.B. And also with the Bludgeon we can start for Sani's Nightmare as well. I'll chuck up a quick screenshot of all the gear that we've got so far. We are more than ready to take on all of the raids. And because the grinds are getting longer and longer as we get onto harder content, um, the videos are going to be a little bit less frequent than they are before, just because I need time to actually do the content to have clips to edit into a video. But I'm going to be live streaming a lot more often so you can see the progress. So make sure you head over to my Twitch so that you can keep up to date with it all. But I think that's a perfect way to wrap up Season 2. I just want to say a massive thank you for all the support this season, and I can't wait to get started on Season 3. I'll see you then. A massive shout out to Luke Marston who became our first ever channel member at the Elite Tier. And if you're interested in joining, then click the join button down below.